Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Argin and we're back for some more Dragon Ball Fighters rank matches. But before we get into the rank matches, I'd like to take a moment and discuss the recent news that have been circulating the interwebs regarding the so-called Battle Hour event, which is gonna take place tomorrow, uh, Saturday, March the 6th. And there's gonna be a lot of news about a lot of Dragon Ball games. There's gonna be news about the uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, uh, Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball the card game, Xenoverse 2, uh, I think Dock and Battle. I, I'm not that versed with those games, actually I'm not versed at all, I don't know anything about those games. But the most important game, at least for us and for this channel in general, Dragon Ball Fighters is gonna be there, it's gonna make its presence known. And I have a feeling we're gonna learn a lot of things regarding its future. So I'm really excited about that, so let's, let's just talk about this. So, what do we do know? We do know that there is gonna be a Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 showcase, which is probably gonna be just like the baby, or just like all the previous showcases of the previous characters that have been released. And yeah, judging by those previous showcases, we're probably gonna learn a lot, if not everything about the character. Um, which means his normals, his super moves, his, uh, his buttons in general, his special attacks, also some TODs if they decide to actually make another combo challenge, I guess. So we're gonna have a lot of stuff on our plate regarding Gogeta. Oh yeah, and by the way, fingers crossed, uh, we will learn Gogeta's um, release date. Hopefully it will be during this month, the month of March. Although something tells me it's going to probably be during April, I hope not. And I certainly hope that he's not gonna be released at the 9th of May. Because if I recall correctly, uh, the 9th of May last year was the release date of GD Goku, which is also coincidentally International Goku Day or something like that. So hopefully, fingers crossed once again, he's not gonna be released at that date. To be honest, I can kinda see this happening, I, like, I can't imagine them schmixing us like that and actually releasing Gogeta during the International Goku Day because, yeah, I mean, Gogeta is kinda like half Goku, so they could definitely pull some side like that and just release him like two months from now, but hopefully that won't happen, fingers crossed. I am uh, guessing April 9th, I don't know why that date specifically, I just... I'm just feeling that date for some reason, and to be honest, it kinda feels really early for Godzilla to be released. I mean, it hasn't even been two months since uh, Baby came out, and I don't think there ever has been two characters being released in a shorter amount of time than two months between them. So yeah, I don't really see him being released during March. I mean, the, the best case scenario, and I feel like the minimum date could be um, the end of March. But yeah, once again, that that would probably be the best case scenario. And yeah, me personally, in my opinion, I don't feel like this is likely. But yeah, who knows, man? I mean, men can dream, am I right? We can dream together, boys. And by the way, holy, I'm getting demolished. I got destroyed in this match. Uh, big props to Moha. He got the Zenkai boost. By the way, this is not a uh, live commentary. I'm just re-watching my distraction on the replay while uh, discussing with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyway. Man, I just cannot wait. This character has been one of my most anticipated characters in this game. First one being Super Saiyan for Goku, that was my first pick. And yeah, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be asking me this. And yeah, I actually prefer Super Saiyan for Goku over Gogeta. Um, mostly because we already have a Gogeta, Gogeta Blue. But also, there is... I don't know, I, I can't really explain it, but there is something about Super Saiyan 4's um, design that I absolutely love. I mean, Gogeta pretty much has the same design, not gonna lie. But still, I'm really excited about seeing the freaking monkey. I wanted to see a Super Saiyan 4 version in this game since the game got released. Like, I was hoping that during Season 1, one of the DLCs would have been Super Saiyan 4. I've been waiting far too long for this site. It's been 84 years. <laughs> so I cannot wait any longer. But yeah, I was already excited at the prospect of them putting uh, Super Saiyan 4 in this game because, let's be honest, this game's graphics are just amazing. I, in my opinion, and I'm actually guessing it's the general consensus as well, unless you are a filthy Xenoverse fanboy, because I've had comments like this in my channel and I know you're watching. If you're one of those guys, I hate you. <laughs> but yeah, I've had some people telling me, uh, this game's graphics are terrible, oh, blah, blah, blah. I, I do not believe you for a second. If you are saying, listen, if you are making the comparison, if you are, if you even dare, if you even have the audacity of making the comparison between Xenoverse or Xenoverse 2 or whatever and Dragon Ball Fighters about the graphics department, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, if you really, if you truly believe, actually, you cannot be truly 
thinking that Xenoverse has better graphics than this game. I believe that whoever says that has just uh, has just not played this game, or or just is a filthy ass scrub who tried to play, got destroyed by another filthy scrub, and said, you know what, man, I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm going back to Xenoverse, where I'm a pro player. <laughs> by the way, I'm just joking. Much love to every every Dragon Ball fan. And yeah, I'm really, I was already, listen man, I was already super excited about Gogeta Showcase. But then, the madmen, the madmen and Bandai Namco, <laughs> they just busted out the big guns and they made me explode. Like, my excitement and my hype levels were already through the roof. But what they just recently released, they just destroyed me, dude. I'm already exploding right now. My hype cannot be contained. By the way, just a quick mention, just a small parenthesis. I'm gonna be restreaming the event at my Twitch, which is uh, twitch.tv slash arginsama. So you boys better follow me and catch me live so we can actually discuss and feel the hype together. It's gonna be a blast, just like the previous uh, stream that I did for Baby Vegeta. But yeah, so listen up. So, during Season 1 and Season 2, we already kinda had an idea that by the end of the season, we would learn more stuff about the continuation of Dragon Ball, right? Because the Dragon Ball back then was already new, it was fresh. And we knew that we would probably learn uh, stuff about a new season and new DLC and stuff. But right now, as we are uh, slowly approaching the end of Season 3 with the release of Gogeta, we are pretty much in the darkness. We don't know anything about the future of the game. Is there even gonna be new patches? Is this the end of the cycle, of the life cycle of this game? To be honest, I was kinda having a feeling that this game uh, is already uh, at the end of its life and we would probably be like with no content for the next like year or so and then they would probably release the newest, most upgraded uh, iteration of Dragon Ball Fighters, I would say, which would probably be called Super Dragon Ball Fighters or whatever, you know, something like a Dragon Ball Fighters Z2, pretty much. But that is what I thought me, a filthy pleb, a filthy scrub, who couldn't even fathom of understanding the way that those gods, those absolute chads that are working at Bandai Namco and Arc System Works, actually think. So what they did was they released this statement and I quote This is from the Battle Hour event Make sure to tune in to the closing ceremony During this time there will be announcements made from various draggable games And there you see draggable fighters So this is not the end of its life We're gonna be learning either about the season 4 In my opinion like this is, this is just my theory but this is pretty much what everybody thinks So either a season 4 or just maybe and hear me out although it is kind of on the low low chance low possibility but maybe just maybe a new Dragon Ball Fighters version of the game like maybe Super Dragon Ball Fighters with a rollback netcode okay listen i even in the chance even in the possibility of something like that happening my heart is already beating too fast, man. I'm, this is this is not healthy, <laughs> all right? The hype is over the charts. It's like a dream come true. So, so obviously take what I say with a grain of salt. But what made me think about the possibility of a rollback netcode is what Arc System Works said today during a presentation of theirs, where they said that they are considering implementing rollback netcode to their games. Now, does that mean to their existing games? Or does that mean uh, for just their newer, for their upcoming titles in general? Whatever the case, that gives the possibility of Dragon Ball having, at least in the future, rollback netcode, which I couldn't be more excited about. But yeah, that is just uh, a theory, maybe far-fetched as well. We also have uh, the filthiest globe over here bumming us out with his um, realistic and perfectly logical approaches. Listen, man, we don't appreciate your right. We don't like thinking logically. We like thinking with our emotions only and our hype. Our hype shall guide us. And I believe that Arxis, our lord and savior, will implement a rollback netcode, at least in the future for Dragon Ball. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That, those are the news. But yeah, let me know down below, guys, your thoughts. What do you actually think that the announcements are gonna be? Do you guys believe that they are actually gonna announce a fourth season? And if they do, do you think that they will show us. Do you think they will tease us? Just a crumble, dude. Just a speck of a trailer. Just something. Even three seconds of a new trailer. Someone, show me someone, please. 
<laughs> yeah, do you guys think that they will show any characters at all? Or uh, it's just gonna be like a generic like announcement of the new season? And yeah, also boys, make bets! Bet over here! I am betting my ass! <laughs> they're gonna uh, they're gonna show us Omega Xenon, that's what I believe. Either Omega Xenon or Majin Vegeta, I've said it before. But yeah, who do you wanna see? Do you wanna see Majin Vegeta? Do you wanna see Omega Xenon? What are your top picks? I know a lot of guys wanna see Majin Vegeta. Personally, obviously I wanna see Super Saiyan for Goku. Even though I know people are gonna be upset about that. No, another Goku! We already have Gogeta! We already have 20 Gokus! Shut the fuck up, man! I wanna see my monkey, man! The OG, alright? <laughs> but yeah, who do you guys wanna see? Um, I also wanna kinda see Dabura. We really... Uh, we are in a desperate need for another... Uh, Schwartzman in this game. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments. I'm super excited and super interested uh, in uh, hearing you guys out. And yeah, once again, I'm gonna be restreaming the event. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. For today's discussion, this is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my daily content. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace!